Um, I just thought I'll show you guys really quick how to export your um, file from Adobe After Effects real quick. Okay guys, so let's say you, you want to, um, sorry, you want to export um, your file, uh, your video. So as you can see, I already have a video and animation that I was creating. Um, so let's say for example, you want to render only even five um uh five seconds of this video the entire video is 20 seconds as you can see but um let's say you want to export only five so what you can do is go on to your five seconds marker and just hit letter n on your keyboard so what letter n does is it kind of um takes um you're, you're telling after effects that this is where you want your timeline to end so from here from zero to five is where you want it to end and say you want to do eight go on to your eight marker and just hit n as well so to now render from zero second to eight seconds now so what you want to do is either go to file uh go to export i realized that some people were choosing the first one had to media encoder q so what media encoder q does is it's actually a separate um render engine that kind of helps you to um queue up different adobe uh renders that you might have so let's say you have multiple projects from um say you have something from premiere pro you have from after effects so we with um encoder it can take in all those um uh, those renders as a queue so it can render everything at a time so for this purpose of this tutorial we're only rendering inside of after effects so make sure you do how to render queue so if you click that you can see it would come right here into the render queue uh, window and say you don't want that let us delete a shorter way to do that is you still have your timeline right so what i just do is command shift then i hold the uh the uh question mark it will come right as the shortcut for it so for those of you on windows it's gonna be control shift and your question mark so um so now we're on the render queue so what you want to do you see where it says output uh module on this lot uh lossless click click on it once and you see if you drop down the format so under the format you will see all these different options that you can render out of so um for me obviously i'll do quick time which is like the default video format for um those of us that are using mac for those of us that use windows it'll probably be avi so with avi um so for windows i'm sure this quick time will be avi for you um uh for the codex this is where you can choose your different codex just in case you ever have a situation where someone said they require some particular type of codec so you can choose out of all these video codecs but in this case i'm good with animation then come to audio output um you can either leave it on auto so it would render both audio and video together and um just make sure if you know you want audio keep it on i rather just do on and just click OK. So OK, you've already told uh, the render queue that this is the format that you want to render out of. Now, this output tool is telling you like, where do you want to save your file? You click on that, then you browse through where you want to keep your file. For me, let's say I just want to do document, I click save, and the next thing you want to do is render. So as you can see, once you hear that sound it means your render is completed and you can go to wherever you know you saved your file and that's pretty much it guys yeah see you guys in the next class ciao ciao